what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so into this in today's video what i'm going to do is i'm going to discuss the news that's been coming out recently regarding the upcoming scream i'm just gonna say the upcoming scream film we still do not know if it's going to be a sequel um an entire reboot or remake i think a remake is the last thing that anyone would like to see i believe everyone would rather see a reboot or a sequel but recently david arquette and Nev Campbell have both spoken to the fact that they have not received phone calls. Now, I want to begin with David Arquette. David Arquette, he talked about this during an interview that uh, MovieWeb had a chance, someone from MovieWeb had a chance to sit down with him and discuss this, and he seemed pretty eager to get on board with the project, but as far he knows just about as much as we do, and that's that they're just writing a script as of right now. Something is being written for the project. He hasn't gotten a phone call in regards to his character being in the script or any a phone call just asking him to return or participate in the project and then nev campbell she didn't get a phone call yet either she was at a uh, there was like a small convention or something like a small gathering uh one of those movie movie con type events uh and one fan asked her if she had received or what her uh if she knew anything about the project she's saying she hasn't received any phone calls yet regarding that either so based off of that as of right now, it doesn't look like anyone from the original films is going to be coming back yet because they have not received phone calls. However, what was interesting later was sometime this week. Actually, I think it was yesterday. Yesterday, a uh, fan favorite from Scream 4, uh, Hayden Pangier, who portrayed the fan favorite character Kirby, who was kind of like the, uh, I feel like she was the Randy for the new generation that they were trying to start with Screen 4. She was like the new Randy character, kind of. Uh, the thing about it was her character, not even that she was the new Randy, she was more She was more so us, the fans, the people who love horror movies. Uh, and if we got caught in a situation where we were in something like that, we probably would, uh, we probably would do what she wanted to do. She still wanted to watch horror movies. So I feel like that's why a lot of people uh, connected with Kirby and why her character got so much love. Because um, she was a horror fan just like all of us. She was a big horror fan. But anyway, Hayden Pantier posted a picture of herself yesterday with a haircut that was like a throwback to the haircut that she had when she was portraying the character of Kirby in Scream 4. Now, what's funny to me is... I don't think uh, a lot of people are now saying that they think that this is a some sort of some sort of idea that she is hinting at that she will be back for the next film. I don't think that's what's happening here at all. What I think is happening is she's kind of just poking poking fun, and maybe she's prepped for a phone call. She maybe she hasn't gotten a phone call yet either. No one, as far as we know, no one from any of the other projects has gotten a phone call. Uh, that doesn't mean no one has been casted yet. They might have already cast somebody now just waiting to announce. So what I think is actually going to happen is I expect some news to come out on the anniversary of the first screen film. I believe that is going to be like December 20th or December 21st. I expect some sort of news to come out regarding this project around that week or on that day. Uh, but getting back to what I was saying with Hayden Pantier posting this photo. In this photo, you see that she has uh, the same haircut as Kirby from Screen 4. Now what I think she's doing is that she's hinting at the fact that she would love to participate in the project. Not necessarily saying or dropping, not necessarily saying that, hey, I'm going to be in this project. I'm going to be in Screen 5. I'm going to be in this upcoming Screen film. Maybe she is just throwing it out there that, hey, when you're done writing that script, give me a phone call when you give Nev, Courtney, and David that call as well. Bring me back. Make me part of the film now what direction that they're going to take this story and what the writers are doing with this script we still do not know what they're doing i just have a bad feeling that if it is not screen five it's going to be a movie that not a lot of people are going to go see the movie could still end up being very good of course it has nothing to do with the fact that it was not screen five that would lead to the film getting negative reviews it's ultimately going to come down to the fact of whatever no matter what you decided doing how did you do it but I feel like what's going to set a lot of people away from is it if it's not Screen 5. I feel like there's so many people that still want Screen 5, even though it might be something that we do not necessarily need. The fact that you brought the franchise back with Screen 4 when it was wrapped up somewhat decently with Screen 3, you kind of just ruined the effect of that whole trilogy there because now you have an incomplete narrative of sorts. Not that Screen 4 ended with uh, remaining questions, it's just that you kind of, you, you the whole point of Screen 4 was for you to start again. That's exactly what you were trying to do. Uh, 
the, even the original ending of Screen 4 was going to bridge into a Screen 5. So the whole idea with Screen 4 was to start start the series back up and release two more movies after that. Uh, regardless of what they do, the criticism is going to come on based off how they do it. But I feel like what a lot, a lot of fans are going to be upset with is if it's not Screen 5. So let me know what you guys think.